Hey everybody, welcome to something different on my channel. This is something really cool I've been waiting for for a while. I'm joined by a super special guest, Mr. Ryan Davis himself. Say hello, Ryan. Hi. How you doing today, buddy? I'm great. That's I've been good. looking forward to this too. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm, I've been excited. I, I've mentioned something to him on Twitter, and uh, he was like, hell yeah, let's do it. So... He didn't say those exact words, but, you know. No. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. All right, so here's the format of what we're going to do. We're going to do a little race, and uh, I'm going to ask Ryan some questions. He's going to answer them, maybe, if he wants to. And uh, yeah, I'm... he's going to choose which section of the game we go through. So do that now. Which section you want to go through? Well, I think we can fit the whole game into one if we're speedrunning. I don't know about <laughs> answering questions, but... Oh, man. That'll be fun. Maybe it'll just be a, a way to get ahead. This guy has played the game because he made it, so... This may, yeah. be, this may be a little bit of a disadvantage for me, but we'll see. Just have to see. I have some experience in uh, some uh, platformers, but, uh, yeah. yeah. As if I have been finding <laughs> out, I was making a list of things I've played, and... Yeah. Boy, they are all platformers. Oh, man. All right, so you want to go through the main game, right? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm so. sitting at the uh, the main game where it's uh, it says Adventure Lamp, like. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just go through and uh, on the count of three, I guess. Yep. Speed run through. Oh, wait. Wait. I'm gonna turn my speed run timer on. Oh yeah, I gotta do that too. Let me see if that works. It's on. Okay. Cool. Whenever you're ready. All right. All right, three, on your mark, two, set. one, go. go. Oh, hit A as this fast is as you can. This my first time doing this. Oh man, well you're in for a treat. I've never speedrunned a game ever. Speedrunned. That's a word. I promise. So I take it you have questions for me. Yes, I do. All right, so uh, you want to go ahead and start answering some? Yeah. Right, Especially so. in the blue area, <laughs> much less. <thing. laughs> yeah, lots less thought. All right, so, Mr. Davis, what was the inspiration behind Adventure Lamp? I'm really curious about what, where this came from. This is just like kind of crazy. Like this guy's got a got a hat, and you just throw it. Sure. Um, there is something called uh, the Ludum Dare or Ludum Dare, depending on how you want to read it. It's a uh, 48 hour game jam um, for anyone who's not familiar with what game jam means it's uh, making a game in a short period of time yeah. because making games can get really long-winded and you know uh, a year turns into two or, I know a guy who's working on one for the past eight years and oh, yeah <laughs> so sometimes it's nice to just have something finished yeah, and have something so, kind of simple. Just well, it doesn't have to be simple. It can be whatever you want. Yeah, but um, Ludum Dare, it's like three or four times a year. Um, for anyone who's interested in just starting making games, it's a great way to start. But um, I like to participate because, again, you, you finish stuff. Um, and oh, I lost my hat. Come back. <laughs> um, That's the whole game right there. Yeah, right? Um, it's not good for speedrunning, though. Um, where was I going? Oh, yeah. So, I just participated because I didn't have a current project, and um, it's a great way to quickly figure out if you've got something good on your hands because um, you're not stuck in the dreaming about it forever phase. You yeah, just gotcha. make something. So, the, the theme of the weekend is picked by the community and um, it is only revealed what has been voted on right when the game or the, the game jam starts so um, uh, well anyway this this time it was uh, called unconventional weapon oh gosh which so pretty much one. describes all of it right yeah it's very unconventional, and I don't know how I got there. I have a GIF 
of when I first discovered the mechanic. I was so excited. Oh, jeez, there's a bug. Okay. Um, oh, no. <laughs> that's fine. I, I got smashed uh, not vertically, horizontally, and oh, God. Simon doesn't know what to do with that, so he freaked out. Anyway, um, there was a moment where I figured it out, and I got very excited and recorded it, and that's what I have now. I think my thought process was, what if I've got a little guy who's got a hat that just sort of drags behind when you jump, and when I saw that, I realized there was something really cool there, and I wondered if you, um, if when it got too far away from your head, because the way it set it up, it always came back to your head. It just, yeah. it, it, it just dragged a little bit behind, but I thought, that's a hat, it could, it could fall off, and I thought, what if it fell off and became a, just a physics object, and, um, 30 seconds later, I was hopping around, and this thing was falling off and flopping around, and it was so funny. I thought, I really need to make a whole game around this. And, um... And then I thought, well, what if you... What if you just... You can throw it, because it's just a physics object that I could do anything with, so... Um, I made it shoot out in a direction, and the whole game was there. Dude, that's I'm in cool. the mushrooms now. Where are you? I'm in the mushrooms too. How long have you been there? Uh, just like a few seconds. I don't like the third thing. Oh no! Ah! Uh, the oldest. Come on, get there, get there. Okay. Okay, so anyway, I, um, I had that going and it was so magical. Um, it, the game just sort of flew out from there. Um, of yeah, course there were... Idea. That's what happens problems along the way. You can still find the Game Jam version. Um, I haven't played it in a while because I'm almost I'm embarrassed to. Like, I got you. I don't, I will, but at the moment I'm focused. Um, but yeah, it's very simple. It's just, I think, 15 or 20 levels of the blue area. Many of the levels are still there from the beginning. Yeah, um, I, I might have found a couple of them in the, uh, the <laughs> whenever I first played through the game. It's probably not on YouTube, but uh, I found some of the, uh, the template levels you were saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is this? If uh, if you hit a button on the, on the credits whenever I did it, uh, whenever I first played, it uh, it opened up. A next level, which it wasn't supposed to, and uh, it was all Orion's broken tem template levels, and it was really fun. Yep, yep they're just hanging out at the end of the line of levels, and I didn't intend <laughs> it, but boy, it's fun. Um, yeah, and I saw a message that said, uh, "Thanks for playing my game," and uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to, I like to have Easter eggs. I didn't intend to include it. Oh, jeez, come on work the way you're supposed to. Um, I think that might cover it. I mean, there are a lot of steps along the way, but that's the first 48 hours, and um, that time was surprisingly important for figuring out the rest of the year. Um, if it weren't for that, Everything would be very different because a lot of decisions were made very quickly. I Some gotcha. bad decisions. <laughs> like I've been wrestling with the ladders for a whole oh year because um, I decided to have these floating island levels, which solved some problems because then I didn't need big sprawling levels. Um, I didn't need to figure out how to draw edges, um, like cave wall edges and stuff like that. Yeah, I gotcha. And the whole world was a lot easier that way, but then I had to figure out how do you leave the level, and I thought about doors that opened out to nothing behind them, and that would have been fine, like Kirby and things do that, but yeah. um, I didn't, I just decided not to. I was like, oh, I'll just put a ladder there, and um, it seemed simple at the time, <laughs> but I didn't realize 
the implications it would have. So anyway, it's just one many things. Uh, decisions were made very quickly, and some of them were good, and some of them I wrestled with, and um, but much of it's the same. So, um, so like uh, the design for Simon. Um, I just started the win, by the way. Oh really? <laughs> I told you I've had experience. Yeah, it's true, and I'm talking. Um, the design for Simon was literally. How quickly can I make a character? Um, there's nothing like a blue square for simplicity. Heck yeah. Um, and I'm realizing now that in some ways I fell into the indie trap. Like, um, the square character is a little tropish at the moment. Oh, is so it that bad. one? Is it the one you were stuck on forever? Uh, yeah, that one did have a lot of wind noise. Uh, this one after it has a lot too. Oh, the wind noise. Yeah. Yeah, that's in the effects slider, I think. Yeah, I have or... it down a lot, but uh, I don't. Everything else was down a lot. This uh, seems to be independent. Oh. Or something. Oh yeah, this one is truly loud. <laughs> oh my god, this one. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here as quickly as I can. Yeah, maybe I should edit that before the big release because YouTubers are gonna hate me. Oh, it's okay. It's still a work in progress, some somewhat. I mean, it's a well, finished game. But, yes uh, and no. It needs to be done. I'm not going to be poking it for the next year. <laughs> hey, you could. It's, yeah, I could, but that's the trap. Yeah, um, I got you. Everyone does that. You don't get paid to poke your. <laughs> uh, creations. A lot of people don't get paid to book their creations. No, but y you want to. <laughs> I'm... I'm going more for the, uh... Well... This is probably... A bigger... Oh, Jesus. Um... Bigger... This, this is a, a bigger statement than what I'm trying to say, but I'm going for the um, cartridge mentality, like yes, oh, yeah, I will I be like I will be product. doing updates, yeah, but I will not be in the early access model where I'm throwing little features out for the next several months until I find out that this isn't going to sustain itself and then I have no more runway um, yeah, I gotcha uh, yeah, I, I'm going more for the, like, um, if I want to add something, save it for the sequel kind of mentality. Yeah, that's, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, so anyway, it needs to be done now. I, I, I hate this win. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I hate it. Okay, do you have any other questions? Because, like, like I said, I babble. Yeah, I can go forever. Fine, Question I'll let you one. as much as you want. Um, so, next question. Alright, uh... How long was this idea in your head before it, uh... It was able to come to fruition? Or, uh, you know, like a real... Well, the other day I realized, uh, I found a... old bit of concept art that I had made, um, for a different game. Um, that... I never made, um, and it is remarkably similar. Um, and actually, there's a, a game I made during my mobile phase that um, was basically a prototype for this game without the hat. So the squishing jump is yeah. not, I mean, it's totally unstandard. Like, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do it. Um, and it was born out of trying to make jumping work on touch screens. Yeah. Because there's no um, there's no button to press. So I figured uh, releasing your finger would be more um, would feel better, and it did. Yeah. But so anyway, I've been making things probably for two years that led up to this. Um, so there was a, a little game, 
like I said, with the mobile ideas. And then there was this concept art I made on my iPad, and I had this idea that I was going to make all the art on my iPad, and that would be, like, pressworthy. Yeah. And it would have been, and I could have done it, but uh, it never happened. Um, But it's gotten so much harder. <laughs> but like uh, during the game jam, um, I just took whatever I had available. So the enemies that I drew in that iPad thing are exactly the same. Like the uh, oh, so the blob. This already in there. The blob character is straight from that. Oh, okay. So I've had it percolating for a long time. I think. Um, but no, I never had, like, a grand vision. Well, I mean, oh, no, I didn't speedrun this level. Okay. <laughs> the blobs, they're killing me. They're, they're really killing me. Oh, you're at blobs? Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, my I have gosh. a streamer friend. She called the little... The, the red blobs tomatoes. Oh gosh. Yeah. Is that one shot girl? Yeah. Yeah, did you watch that? I tried to, but uh I wasn't at my house, so I okay. didn't have a uh, yeah. reliable internet. Julie Which did a great um it was basically a launch party for streaming it. Yeah. Um, I would have, you know, tuned in and watched it but uh Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Um, oh man, this level. It's killing me. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. Okay. No! The hat. Crap. I have seen other, um, The, so the hat mechanic I thought was totally original, and yeah, I think in my mind it was. But there are other games that have used mechanics like this, I found out. Oh, really? Um, and I forget the names. But there's... it's an older game um, where you throw your head. Oh, okay. You're like a skeleton, or ghoul, or something like that. Um, I need to look it up again. But I certainly didn't use it as inspiration because I'd never heard of it before. Yeah. It turns out there's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, I apologize if anybody can't hear anything because of this. If you want to um, pause for a second and turn down the effects, you can. I'll do it with you. Okay. Pause now. Okay. Tell me when. I hope this like actually turns it down a lot. I'm gonna leave it there. All right, three, two, one, resume. Is it any better? I don't know. I just got off of the the win levels, so yeah. that helps. Are you serious? Ah, oh, I'm good. lagging behind. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like talking isn't slowing me down, but. It might be, Maybe. and I apologize if that's the case, but I really want to well, know some things about this game. So uh, I was gonna say, uh, you need I need a handicap, but now that I'm now that I'm behind, I don't know if I need a handicap. <laughs> well, you can always uh, you know wait till after the recording to answer some more questions. Oh no way! Uh, this is a great format, I think. Um, Hold up. Pause real quick. Oh, okay. Tell me when. I have to edit that out. Okay, uh, resume. Three, two, one, go. Okay. My bad. Uh, yeah. Yep, life, life happens. happens. Unless you have, like, a recording light crazy. on a big yeah, door. Yeah, I, I want an on-air sign, just to look cool anyways. <laughs> 
Yeah, right? <laughs> Alright, I'm in the dark, and I should have an advantage here, because I know my levels. I yeah. say that, and I'm hopping around in the dark. I hope uh, you do know your levels, because I don't know your levels as well. I don't have to feel around in the dark nearly as much. Oh, yeah. I, I get lost in this a little bit sometimes. Oh, crap. Um, let's see. Do you have another question? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, okay. So, what is some of your game titles that are your favorites? Like, and also, you know, you can uh, feel free to talk about different styles of games. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, most people, um... Most is a hard word. Uh, a lot of people grow up with games, and they play certain things, and it's cha it changes over time. Yeah. That definitely happened for me. Um, platformers have always been a mainstay, and I think part of that is because I grew up on the Super Nintendo, and I, <laughs> I jumped from Super Nintendo to Wii, um, because uh, I, I grew up overseas, um, it wasn't easy to get another system, and it kept working, and we never ran out of games. Um, so, uh, I just had that forever, and uh, it was the glory days of the platformer. Yeah. Um, so, I played a lot of different Mario games, and Kirby, and uh, actually, <laughs> people are saying that uh, Simon's a lot like Kirby. Yeah, and I can I, I can see that. It's like Kirby and Super Meat Boy, and I never intended that, but I am so in love with that comparison. I think it's perfect. Yeah. Um, Those are and both actually, great I, games, so. there was a I watched a talk from the developer of the main designer behind Kirby, and his whole reason for doing it was to make a more casual Mario. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, it was supposed to be easier, and the way it was easier was you didn't jump on things' heads, you sucked them in from farther away, so the risk risk reward was lower contrast. Yeah. Um, so anyway, th this is kind of like a... There's some Super Meat Boy in here, right? But yeah. it's definitely not the same. Like, it's not a sadistic game. It doesn't want to hurt you. It's just... <laughs> kind of tough. Super yeah. Meat Boy loves hurting you. Yeah. It um, makes a whole thing about it. Yeah, and I, I tried to, to design away from that, but I know there's some of that in there. Um, okay, so I made a list because I'm really terrible at listing games I like. I Don't know why. People just ask what I play, and then I think, uh, Fez? <laughs> yeah. um, so that's on there. I, I love Fez. Um, <laughs> Uh, but, let's see, some of the more recent influences are, uh, like, uh, Thomas Was Alone. I oh, yeah. so in love with that game. Um, I think did a good job on that game. Oh, man. It, it was a major influence during this. If I, if I could have had a brilliant narrator, <laughs> voice actor thing, I would have, and I deeply considered it. But, um, budgets and... And knowing that I'm not a script writer, uh, both of those impacted it. So, um, maybe in the future. Maybe. But, uh, so anyway, Thomas Was Alone. Aquaria is a, a deep favorite. I love that game. Um, exploration is way up there for me. Um, Braid, of course. Um, let's see. This is inexpl inexplicably different, but uh, I've played a ton of Don't Starve. Oh, yeah. My wife and I play it together a lot. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Actually, <laughs> there was a birthday where she got it for me, and then we stayed up to, like, 3 a.m. playing it um, without meaning to. It was, it was <laughs> wonderful. That's great. Um, I think I'm on a, on a level where I can't... Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm on the gun level right now. Oh no! Uh, oh no! For anything, get these done. All the buttons. Oh no! Oh, they're off sync now. 
What's wrong? Oh! Go this way. Go, go, go. No! You were so close. Don't do this to me. Okay, I did it. So, yeah, I'm realizing a ton of platformers. I, I really, really like platforming, and I know that in some ways it's very old. Like, uh, it has been done to death, but I, um... I think that's why I went for something very different. Yeah. Well, in some ways very familiar. But I wanted to have uh, a mechanic that had not been done before because um, I know that... Oh, there's a notification. Hopefully there aren't any more of those. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, because I know that just a clever theme is probably not going to cut it. Volcano, by oh. the way. Ugh. I'm like two levels off of it. <laughs> yeah, I got stuck and on I the gun level for a while. Oh no, I got stuck. Okay, level. Go. This is a newer level I haven't played very much, uh, and it shows. I forget how to do it. I see you added <laughs> a, a different light lighting effect in the uh, in the volcano area to Simon. Uh, yeah, actually, because the blue did not it, it really stood out um so he has slightly different colors this is embarrassing i cannot do this level <laughs> it's all right um what if i forget i'll just win that's okay oh 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 yeah yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> oh no oh this this conveyor belt Shenanigans. Oh, man. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Get up there. It. That level. Into the lava. Go, go, go. All right. This so is... you said uh, some of your favorite games were uh, what again? I, I forgot completely. <laughs> I've been paying attention to the game more than I've been paying attention to the games you've been saying. Oh, I, I see how it is. Um, hey, I gotta do something. I gotta. Tons of platformers, lots of um, things that use simplicity, uh, like Thomas was alone. Yeah, to get Thomas a lot. Was alone, that one I remember. That's mm -hmm. that's a um, game. Uh, things that use um, new mechanics and take him all the way, like Fez. Um, I really like Spelunky, uh, but that's um, definitely not, I mean, it's it's less of an influencer here because I decided not to go the roguelike direction, Yeah. Um, even though that's a great option. Yeah, it's, those games are really fun. They have a lot of re yeah, uh, replayability to them. And sometimes I wonder about it, but I decided that it was the current cool thing to do, and there might be some benefit in um, I stuck. going for handcrafted. All right, how do you restart a level? No, you, you, uh, you can I got jump it. off. I got it. <laughs> the lava comes up and kills you. No, I did it again. Dang it! I got stuck in the in the hole in the conveyor belt. You have to drop your hat in the uh, hole. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Does that mean I'm ahead of you? I think it means I'm ahead of you. Yeah, you might have just. Ahead. I'm not very good at these levels. Yeah, I know no one is. <laughs> I don't know if that's terrible or not, but um, I had to draw the line at cards. <laughs> I got you. That's okay. I was I was good at them with the uh, with the blob. That's so interesting. I, everyone's got different preferences, and some people are really great with the blob, and some are not. Um, I, I had a hard time at first, and then I figured out the real, like, beauty of his, like, directional jump. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Um, it's similar to Simon enough that I think it's worth, um, no. including, because they are, like, cousins, but, uh, it's very <laughs> different. So good. Nope. Nope. Right. Nope. I'm on the. Heck, I'm it. 
I get the speedrun strat out. I'm gonna do this the speedrun way. So okay, there we go. Already. You're gonna beat me a bit. This is too difficult for I me. I think I pulled ahead at the end. Though, you know, that could change in a moment. Oh, man. I'm at the, uh... Those Ooh. energy circles. Oh, you can't... The... I got you. You're, yeah, bad. You're way ahead of me, I think. Oh, what am I doing? This is definitely the slowest way to do this. Come back here. Should have just started the level over. Ah! Oh, well, I'm starting it over anyway. <laughs> okay. I think it's probably going to come down to one of the final levels. It's going to do it. Yeah, probably. So I think that's about it for the games. Oh, jeez, that I, I like. Um, I, truth be told, I like to make games more than I like to play them. Um, oh, that's interesting. It is interesting, and I, it, I only realized it not too long ago. Um, I started making games when I was 13, so most of my. That's kind of uh, young. Hmm? It is, um, but you know anyone can make games yeah, if you if you have a basic understanding of algebra. You have enough math, um, and after that, it, it comes down to amount of time you're willing to spend solving problems. Um, and most people don't have the patience, but if you're a bored 13 year old. <laughs> then you might and Maybe. I did so um, anyway I started then and that was my main source of entertainment so um, I I probably played and made games about half and half same time and now that I'm older um, I prefer to make things than to consume them yeah. so um, you know just comes out that way but it's kind of like if you're a writer you have to read to yeah. keep up with what's going on so to me playing games is a bit like keeping up with the literature yeah I gotcha very uh, enjoyable gotta but definitely the, the new things that are coming out too yeah yeah and um, if I, unless I want to be stuck in the making <sighs> that was unfair anyway um <laughs> <laughs> making things that I played when I was eight forever and always um, you know I think it, it's a, it's a good thing but when you see people who are just remaking the stuff they played on the Atari forever it's definitely more niche yeah um, and I don't want to be stuck in niche yeah I got you so you gotta, anyway. you branch out a little bit uh, yeah so Um, I think I think you had a few more questions, right? We're like halfway through them. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I didn't give him a list beforehand so he could kind of prepare any kind of answers. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have been able to answer those the uh, what games do you play question at all without a list. There's yeah, I figured not uh, gonna happen. that would uh, kind of help a little bit for him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh God. There's a blob chasing me. There's a balloon <laughs> thing chasing me. Stop it. Oh, this is this is horrible. <laughs> it killed me. Okay. Uh, next question. Dang it. Okay. I'm dying. Okay. Next question. Uh. Uh. What's the DLC plans, if any? You got uh, any ideas of like what kind of DLC you got brewing in the mind up there? So. Like I said before, I'm sort of treating it like I release and it is feature complete. However, um, I always have more ideas running around than I have um, time or... Wow, I just keep doing this. Um, time, ability, or good sense to, to complete. So I would love a level editor. I 
Oh yeah, that would be really cool. Really want a level editor, but there's some technical reasons why I might not. Um, and I mean, I may need and, to reset my game. Actually, can we? Oh uh, no, really? Pause real quick. It's uh, sure. lagging too much. All right. It, oh yeah, you got the um, memory leak thing going on. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but uh. I don't either, and I don't know if it's in my control. It's a real shame. If I can find a fix, I will. Yeah, I mean definitely. But it it may be it may be something to do with uh, the development uh, suite I'm in, and not and not something I I can change anything about. All right, I hope it's saved at the right level. It should. That yeah. problem has been gone for a while. Yeah. Um. All right. Yeah, it's saved. All right. Whenever you're ready, I'm gonna hit resume. Okay. Three, two, one, resume. Go. All right. I met the wind on the outside of the lava. Oh no. <laughs> this might be ending soon. Yeah, it might. My uh, my uh, fluidity on this level has gone down a lot. I don't know why, but the uh, I I used to do this level. Now I can't. I don't know why. It's this. Which one is it? The balloon is chasing you, and uh, <laughs> he will not go away. Um, it's the one with the seven buttons, I think. Oh yeah. Like you got. Five in the middle, and then two with the uh, conveyor belts on the end. <gasps> oh no, that didn't work the way I thought it would. Oh, 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 that can't be that. That can't be good. <laughs> what happened? Uh, there's a puzzle that doesn't seem to. Oh, there it is. Well, it works sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, in the lava. He should have died. That's oh man, now my wind is loud. <laughs> oh no, and I can't turn it down. Do you want me to pause? Because this one doesn't have... No, it's... The latest version on, on my computer uh, has a fix for the wind where you, you can turn it down with the effect slider. Yeah. This version does not. Oh no. <laughs> so I apologize for every any viewer's ears. Well, not That's for okay. your ears, you know, for the... I'm sure you have nice ears. <laughs> yeah. For the sounds in your ears. You heard it here first. Ryan Davis likes your ears. <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah, I would love a level editor, uh, and it is, it is, brewing in the back of my mind and on sketchbooks and things. But I know it's a major commitment. It'll probably come down to reception of the game. Um, which I, I just don't know yet. It's been very good so far in the limited pool of people. There I am, credits. No, no, no. Dang 29 on. and a half minutes. Dang on. Well, all right. I guess I'll pause here and just uh, end it. Well, it was good playing with you, Ryan. You were a good sport. Um, I do want to ask you one more question about the game, if that's all right with you. Yeah, sure. I, I can... I'll s I could stay as long as you want me to. You can keep playing while we talk, or... Okay, I can do that, yeah. It depends we'll have... on your video length. Yeah, my video length's only, uh, you know, 38 minutes here. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, uh, I also wanted to know, um, so how, how have you been doing this? Has this been your main job? Has this been something you've been doing on the side? Is it a hobby? What's, what's going on with it? Okay, well, um, I, I'm keeping my main job off the internet, I'm keeping that to myself, but it's a 40 hour a week job, um, yeah. I went to grad school for it, so during grad school this was my full time job. I had a short period as a maintenance person for my local university, and uh, that was enough to, that was a, a, enough Maintenance jobs are, are great, um, and I, I have nothing against them. They didn't work with <laughs> me at all. Um, oh, yeah. And it was it was bad enough that it was great motivation to 
do something else. Yeah, it'd make and you want to do something better. Yeah, and it w I knew I wasn't quitting my career for it. I was quitting a, a really low-end temporary job to try my hand at a, a what turned out to be a low-paying uh, job that I liked. So um, it was about the same, which is good. Um, the first year of that, I uh, made no money because uh, you don't you don't show up and people pay you you have to <laughs> uh you have to make a body of work before people understand even the little so like um one of the things i do is i make pottery oh, people don't buy good. yeah i think so uh people don't buy one mug if they if it's only one mug yeah if they see 30 of them in front of them in a set they might buy one mug but if you've got 30 random things that don't go together they don't know who you are or what you're about and they don't even get one of them so sets okay. sell individuals so the same works for games if you're making if you show up with one game your website is blank except for that one little thing you've got and um you talk about your big dreams people will roll their eyes and run away um so it took about a year to get as much uh, to get enough work uh, done that people would start asking me for licenses for things. I was working with businesses at the time. But anyway, yeah. um, that was my main job during grad school. Now that I'm out of grad school, I have a full-time job with a degree that I, I worked for. But this is... It's moved from 30 to 40 hours a week of development to about 20. I'm still... I'm still doing it all the time <laughs> um, and I'm able to do that because my wife and I don't have children um, and it everything it balances time I understand that I have something most people don't yeah um, and I'm using it yeah. so yeah. I have a full-time job and a and a part-time development job that in my mind is it's just as important. Um, yeah, so that sort of answers it. I know that it's it's really <laughs> out of the ordinary. Like I didn't quit my job to pursue my dream. Like I found my job so that I could support my dream. Yeah. And, and I would tell anyone who's making things, uh, don't quit your day job until <laughs> the thing you're doing has been successful long enough that it can actually be your day job like you, you wouldn't the, start a job somewhere where you yeah you wouldn't start a job somewhere where you might be fired tomorrow that's right in the same way don't start something that you might not be paid ever yeah. uh, you have to you have to give yourself a runway so anyway that's where that's where i'm with that um yeah. i had to I work a lot actually quit the game here because uh uh the wind was overpowering me <laughs> so yeah. yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you coming out, Ryan. That was yeah, it's really been nice a lot of you fun. to do something with little old me. Well, it was my first time speedrunning the game. Turns out I can beat it in a half hour. Yeah, you did Nuts. really well on the last couple levels. I'm, I'm really jealous about that. I'm going to have to practice some. Well, if we did it again, I'm sure you would, uh, I'm sure you would beat me. Because all the way up to the lava, I was... I was behind. I think, I think <laughs> yeah, you got it just stuck took on a little bit. I got stuck on a few there. levels there. But uh, yeah, if you uh, if anybody wants to check out Ryan, he's on Twitter. You know, at, at Rye Guy Games. I I think right. Yep. Yep. Twitter at Rye Guy Games. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to the description. Uh, his yeah, website the, uh, is adventurelamp.com. Uh huh. And the release date, the official big release date, is uh, July fifteenth on Steam. Um, you can get it now at adventurelamp.com for 60% off, so now's the time. Yeah, do but that. But if you prefer Steam, um, you can get Steam keys uh, after launch through the website that I, I sell it from, so there's no reason not to right yeah, now. Yeah, basically, but... there's nothing to lose. Just go get the game. <laughs> You're going to want it. I mean, come on. This is a fun game. You're going to watch um, it, I promise. Yeah, and I intend not... 
necessarily to work on this game more, but to flesh the world out more. Yeah. Just like I was saying about, you know, cups. <laughs> you have a set of cups. I don't want to abandon the world yet. I think there's still a lot to be done with this space, with these mechanics, with Simon, with uh, his... With a world that's so squishy and bouncy, I... I, I <laughs> I'm not going to suddenly be doing a hardcore uh, RTS city builder or something like that. <laughs> so um, this is something I'm going to be doing for a while. Yeah. And now's a good time to get on board. Yeah. I mean, come on, get him, get the game. I mean, you're gonna like it. He's got <laughs> he's got a lot of stuff brewing. He's gonna just just go follow him. You know, check him out. Keep up with him. He's got a lot of stuff in his mind, and he's gonna do great. I mean, look at this game. This is awesome. I appreciate it, Scott. Thanks. Yep. All right. Time. Uh, I appreciate it, Ryan. I hope you have a good one. And uh, if you like the video, everybody, please consider giving me a like. It helps me out a ton. Go check out Ryan. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see you later. Take care, everyone. Bye, Ryan. Bye.